Imagine a monstrous creature, a hound from hell, stalking the darkness. Is it a curse or something far more sinister? Welcome, mystery lovers. We're delving into the shrouded world of Arthur Conan Doyle's classic, The Hound of the Baskervilles. It's a tale that takes us to the misty moors of England, where danger lurks in the shadows and fear grips the heart. Our story revolves around three main characters. The first is the world-renowned detective Sherlock Holmes, a man of unparalleled intellect and cunning. His loyal companion, Dr. John Watson, provides a grounded contrast to Holmes's eccentric nature. Watson is our narrator, our guide into the whirlwind of the mystery. And then we have Sir Henry Baskerville, the last of the Baskerville lineage, a man caught in a web of ancestral curse and contemporary danger. The Baskervilles are haunted by a spectral hound, a beast of such terrifying nature that it's said to have driven numerous family members to their untimely ends. The hound is the embodiment of an old family curse, a phantom creature that springs from the depths of the moor to claim its victims. This is no ordinary dog mind you, it's described as a creature of the night, a hellish beast with glowing eyes and a savage disposition. It's the stuff of nightmares, an omen of death, that has been the downfall of the Baskerville family for generations. The mystery begins when Sir Charles Baskerville, the latest victim of the Hound, is found dead on the family estate. His face is frozen in an expression of sheer terror, and nearby are the footprints of a gigantic Hound. The death of Sir Charles brings his nephew Sir Henry Baskerville from America to inherit the estate and so, the stage is set for a tale of suspense and intrigue. But is the Hound real? or is it merely a tool for a more earthly malevolent plot? Stay tuned as we unravel the layers of this captivating mystery, one that stands as a testament to the genius of Arthur Conan Doyle. Enter the world's greatest detective Sherlock Holmes and his trusty sidekick, Dr. John Watson. As they step onto the scene, the air thickens with the scent of mystery, their minds racing to connect the dots of this enigmatic puzzle. The setting of The Hound of the Baskervilles is as much a character as Holmes himself, the desolate moors adding a layer of dread and anticipation to their investigation. Holmes, with his keenly observant eye and razor-sharp intellect, begins to sift through the evidence. Each clue, no matter how insignificant it seems, could be the key to solving the case. A footprint here, a discarded item there, Holmes leaves no stone unturned. His deductions are nothing short of brilliant, each one inching them closer to the truth. Watson, ever the faithful companion, provides a steady hand and a sharp mind of his own. His medical background proves invaluable, offering a different perspective to Holmes's analytical approach. Together, they make an unstoppable team, their dynamic a testament to Doyle's genius in crafting these beloved characters. As they delve deeper into the case, the moors seem to close in around them, the lurking dangers adding an edge to their investigation. The sense of the unknown, the unseen threat of the legendary hound, heightens the tension, making every shadow a potential threat, every sound a cause for alarm. But the more they uncover, the more complex the case becomes. Each answer seems to lead to another question, each clue to another mystery. They find themselves ensnared in a web of deceit and danger, the truth elusive and just out of reach. Yet, they press on, driven by their relentless pursuit of the truth. The game is afoot, and there's no turning back now. Their minds, their resolve, their courage, all tested as they navigate the treacherous terrain of the Hound of the Baskervilles. Unraveling the strands of this tangled web, Holmes and Watson find themselves facing more questions than answers. But in the dark corners of this mystery, in the heart of the Moors, the truth waits to be discovered. In the heart of the storm the hound howls, and the truth begins to emerge. As the story reaches its climax, the chilling mystery of the hound and the sinister plot of the villain are finally laid bare before our eyes. The tale of the Baskervilles takes a thrilling turn in a chase that's as gripping as it is illuminating. The suspense is palpable, the stakes are high and the truth as they say is stranger than fiction. We've been ensnared in the enigma of the hound its spectral glow, its monstrous form all painted a picture of the supernatural. But as the fog of mystery lifts we find that the hound is not a phantom, but a beast of flesh and blood, its fearsome appearance a creation of human deceit and cunning. The real villain of the story, the puppeteer pulling the strings is none other than Jack Stapleton. A man driven by greed and avarice, Stapleton had meticulously crafted his diabolical plan, using the legend of the Hound to instill fear and manipulate events to his advantage. 
His plot was as intricate as it was wicked, involving deception, betrayal, and a ruthless disregard for human life. But, as is often the case in the world of Sherlock Holmes, evil does not triumph. The thrilling chase ends with Stapleton's downfall. His own creation, the Hound, becomes his undoing. In a dramatic twist the hunter becomes the hunted, and the villain meets a fitting end. The unveiling of the truth is a testament to the genius of Sherlock Holmes and his indomitable spirit of deduction. It's a reminder that no matter how complex the mystery, how deep the deception, the truth has a way of coming to light. In the end it's not the supernatural that men should fear, but the evil that lurks in the hearts of other men. The Hound of the Baskervilles is not just a tale of a phantom hound, but a study of human nature, and the darkness that can reside in the human heart. Beyond the Hound and the Moors, it's the mind of Arthur Conan Doyle that truly captivates. The literary prowess of Arthur Conan Doyle is a marvel to behold, a captivating blend of intricate plot weaving, memorable character development, and masterful suspense. His stories, particularly The Hound of the Baskervilles, are a testament to his genius, a symphony of words that transport readers into a world of mystery and intrigue. Doyle's skill in creating suspense is second to none. He had an uncanny ability to keep readers on the edge of their seats, breathlessly turning pages desperate to unravel the mystery. His stories are a labyrinth of suspense, each twist and turn more surprising than the last. One can't help but marvel at the way he interweaves tension and uncertainty into his narrative, keeping readers hooked from beginning to end. But it's not just suspense that sets Doyle apart, his characters are equally impressive. Take his protagonist, Sherlock Holmes for instance. Holmes is sharp, witty and remarkably observant. A character so vividly drawn that he feels real. Doyle's characterizations are sharp and nuanced, painting a vivid picture of each character's personality, motivations, and flaws. This depth of characterization brings his stories to life, creating a world that readers can fully immerse themselves in. And then there's Doyle's ability to create a complex mystery. His plots are intricate and layered, each detail carefully crafted and meticulously placed. The mystery unfolds slowly, gradually revealing its secrets, until the final shocking revelation. It's this careful pacing, this measured unveiling of the mystery, that keeps readers engrossed till the very end. The Hound of the Baskervilles is perhaps the perfect example of Doyle's genius. A chilling tale of a spectral hound in a cursed family, it's a masterclass in suspense, characterization, and plot development. It's a story that continues to captivate readers, a testament to the timeless appeal of Doyle's writing. The Hound of the Baskervilles stands testament to Doyle's mastery, a timeless classic that continues to thrill readers even today. So, what makes The Hound of the Baskervilles a must-read for mystery lovers? Well, let's take a moment to reflect on the key points we've covered in this deep dive. The Hound of the Baskervilles is more than just a detective novel. It's a journey into the foggy moors of Baskerville Hall, a place full of secrets where every shadow holds a potential clue and every sound might be the spectral hound's howl. The suspense is palpable right from the first page. Doyle's knack for setting up a tantalizing mystery is on full display here. The eerie legend of the Baskerville curse, the unexplained death of Sir Charles Baskerville, and the strange happenings around the moor all conspire to create an atmosphere of dread and anticipation. This isn't a story that reveals its secrets easily, instead it makes you work for them, peeling back layer after layer of mystery until the shocking truth is finally revealed. And then, there's the plot. The Hound of the Baskervilles isn't just a linear whodunit, it's a complex web of deceit, danger, and deduction. Every character has their role to play, every event is a piece of the puzzle. The story unfolds in such a way that you're constantly kept on your toes, second-guessing your theories and eagerly turning the pages for more. But perhaps the real genius of The Hound of the Baskervilles lies in Doyle's masterful storytelling. His vivid descriptions draw you into the story, making you feel as if you're standing right there with Holmes and Watson, feeling the chill of the moor on your skin and the thrill of the chase in your heart. His characters are well-drawn and compelling, particularly the inimitable Sherlock Holmes, whose razor-sharp intellect and eccentric mannerisms have made him one of literature's most enduring characters. Whether you're a seasoned detective or a casual reader, The Hound of the Baskervilles promises a journey into the heart of mystery, a journey you won't soon forget. This classic tale is a testament to the enduring appeal of a well-told mystery. It's a story that invites you to lose yourself in its foggy landscapes, to puzzle over its riddles, and to experience the thrill of the chase. 
It's a story that reminds us why we love mysteries in the first place. Thank you.